And welcome back to another episode of Sidecraft. I am fortunately just me. It's just me today. Um. <laughs> um. All right. So there's obviously something that you haven't seen before already. Um. First of all, I am officially a mod on the server. Um. Yeah, um, it was, I actually haven't recorded a sidecraft in almost a month, so, I got it almost three weeks ago, I think. Um, yeah. Some people that watch this video are actually on the server, so they obviously already know, but, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, I can kick, ban, S and just. Um, all that stuff, I can do this. Oh, that, that didn't go well. Oh, I'm in the redstone for the, for the, um, ah, that fray spot, no! <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, first of all, uh, Cole has been working on his, uh, iron farm. I really want to work on it, but he wants to work on it by himself. <laughs> um. He's like, no. He's like, no. Um. I have, I think I've already showed you the mushroom farm, I guess. Um. We have another wart farm. Uh. We have this room. I have all colors of sheep. Um, this side and this side. I have piggies, cows, chickens, all of this stuff. Uh, down here we have a bacon breeder made by Zizuma uh, on the Hermitcraft server. Um, it's currently not working at its best right now simply because, um, Whenever let me finish real quick. Okay, um but whenever I push the button the lava comes on. Um and the lava doesn't go away, it just stays there, which confuses me. See how the items in the second hopper when I put it in the first hopper um, it burns, but then the lava doesn't go away, so what I have to do is I have to take the hopper out, put it in the, s take it out of the second hopper, put it in the first hopper, then hit the button again, and then it goes away, which I'm unsure about, um, so yeah, um, I'm pretty, I got all the redstone right. I think it, it obviously has something to do with this or it's done up here. Uh, leave in the comments if you have an idea of what's wrong. But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna show you all the redstone to see. Um, okay. I obviously made this off as a Zoomers tutorial video. Um, but, but, uh, yeah. Um, that's why I have the do not use yet sign. <laughs> Um, and over here we have a, a cave spider farm, it's currently not working because something's screwed up with sp all spawners on the server, um, obviously it tries to spawn, but, wait for the flare, there it is, it doesn't work, no spawners are working, well, some spawners, I don't know why, but this spawner isn't working, but, uh, some spawners are, I don't know. Like a blaze spawner isn't working, it's weird. Like the, um, I've showed you the spider, there's a regular spider spawner right below our house as well. That works, so, I'm unsure. I built this off of Doc in 77's design. Um, down down here. Have the iron bar thingy. Push the button, they come back, go away. 
come back. This is to crush the spiders. And up here we have a lever to let them into the killing chamber. It's currently closed, just in case if somebody opens the iron bar. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, if I haven't showed you the spider farm, I've made some adjustments here, actually. It's a lot cleaner down here. I guess it would be a good word for it. Uh, um, here's a spider farm. Walk around here. Um, pretty much, I couldn't dig down low enough to where they can die. Because there's bedrock. But, um, pretty much they spawn and then they fall. They're at low health and you can just go down and kill them. One shot kill. Because, like I said, they're at low health from the fall. You don't take much damage. And, yeah. It's pretty good. Sadly, it's not that good of a source for XP and AFK, AFK, AFK hole. And we have an abandoned mine shaft here. Right under our house as well. And, yeah. Um. And then over here, we have Epicness's privacy shack. He's got a mine of his own here, and his privacy shack. Beware of air, seven is favorite privacy shack, authorized person only, ask me for permission to be authorized, allowed, not allowed, right man. And then, have a privacy shack. Oh yeah, I can also, I guess, um, open anyone's chest. Upside down, cool. At first, if you don't succeed, redefine success. Okay. Um. And then if we come back up here, there's not really much more to show. The farm is the same. Um. But, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it to show, really. Um. The ender ender, it wasn't working. Uh, an admin, one of my friends moved it. Now it's bedrock, I don't know why. <laughs> but now it, w it was working, and it doesn't work again now. I'm not sure why. Like I said, spawners are screwed up, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same except the bedrock. I don't know. I don't know what's working. It's sad because we have no XP. <sighs> um, okay. This episode might be a bit short. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a a mob a mob system, like a like just a natural spawn, like a natural spawn mob system. Load. I know you. I know you're up there. I know you're up there. There you go. <laughs> There's a slime in the water. Can slime spawn in the ocean? No, he's not. He's not. He's not really in the ocean. I know where he is. I know exactly where he is. Oh. No. Oh, wait. No, he wouldn't be that far. Okay. Um. Hang on. This episode's just gonna be me flying around. <laughs> um. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna build a mob system, like a mob system. Um, uh, yeah. A mob, oh yeah. Mob zombie. Take you to this a zombie spawner I found, or Ratman found. I eventually had it so that it was just, like, uh, coal. This isn't gonna work because they can escape from here. Hold on. Okay, um... Okay, wait, no, that's going too far. Um... How about this coal? You blocked this off, coal, what the hell? Is there a v zombie villager or a villager in here? No. Yeah, this, this water path is for zombie villagers. But, uh... When does the water run out? Is that eight blocks? No. 
Okay, that's eight blocks right there. Okay, and then there's this hole here. Hole, loop, fill this in. Doesn't really mean anything. I guess this could work. Um, right here, we just have a simple path to them, and they can't escape from there. We'll actually put a s cobblestone slab there so that they can't not escape. Escape. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, can they? Actually, no, they can't. What am I doing? What am I saying? Uh, yeah, they can't. They can't escape. Dirt. Okay. Um. Okay. The zombie villagers. Though. Well, right now he has it so that the zombie villagers. If you have a zombie villager, you drop them down, they'll fall into the water. If you don't want to kill zombies, then you f flip these two levers. That one opens, that one closes. Wait. Uh. No, not that one, the other one. Yes, okay, so the, the water flows down there into a lava trap. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um. Trapdoor. Zombies. Okay, I'm gonna close the trap door first before, in case if they fall in the zombie villager trap. But uh, they come down into here, and we have in here is the actual spawner. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, not no, no, no. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna build Etho an EMP unit. Etho mob processor. And a mob, simple mob system. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. La, 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 la. I may make a few tweaks to it, because I think he built it in, like, one point or 1.0 it was a while ago <laughs> um but um yeah i think it should work pretty well i might get for xp i'm not sure but uh yeah so uh, i think i'm gonna start working on this now um and uh yeah is, is mine okay Oh, it's night time. Oh, I'm out with someone else. I wanna don't know if I could sleep or not. Speaking of sleeping, my dog is just lying dead on this thing we made for them. Okay, anyways. Um, I think I might end off the episode here. I probably will. Okay, uh, just an update on the server. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode.